Barbara Streisand has a huge Wikipedia page. Uh, she's a singer, actress, and director. Uh, her career has uh, been going since 1960, and it is still going. So that's covering six decades so far. Uh, she started out in show music uh, in the 1960s. She transitioned uh, into the 70s into acting and some uh, kind of more mainstream pop in the 70s and 80s. Uh, she has got the accolade of being EGOT, which means she has an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony. There are not many people who have managed that. She's one of the most successful recording artists ever and has managed to maintain artistic control over her uh, recording output from right from the beginning. Uh, and she has created 36 albums so far. Uh, I often don't comment much on... Um, on acts uh, personal lives I, I think it's um, yeah I'm going to draw attention to the romances in uh, Barbara Streisand's life uh, just picking out the names that I know uh, Elliot Gould who's an actor Canadian Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau Richard Baskin of Baskin and Roberts Ice Cream, Robin's Ice Cream, uh, Don Johnson, uh, Richard Gere, Clint Eastwood, Andre Agassi, the tennis player, Liam Neeson, and James Brolin. Hi, my name's Dan. So this was Barbara Streisand's 24th studio album, and it was my first encounter with it. I think I've heard her version of Somewhere uh, before, which is the last track on the album. Um, so apparently this was a reaction uh, by her to having done several pop albums and she wanted to do a, sh a show tunes album. So she did. She had artistic control. There was some re uh, resistance from her record label at this point, but uh, she did manage to get this done um, and it sold really, really well. Uh, so it is basically show tunes from uh, musicals. Uh, the, the names of the writers are people like Rodgers and Hammerstein and um, uh, Stephen Sondheim and others of that kind of ilk. And I recognise the names of most of the, the musicals here, but they're not shows that I have seen myself. I don't think any of them. Um, the the music's done kind of fairly typically with a kind of you know, sort of uh, medium small orchestra, but also with assorted 80s sounds in there, particularly um, uh, synth sounds and drum sounds. I guess this was an attempt to make it sound more up to date at that point. Um, and I think that the, um, the kind of downside of this was that it now sounds dated. And if they'd stuck to kind of classic uh, instrumentation, it probably wouldn't have sounded so dated now. It's not bad, you know, in that sense. Um, so uh, Barbara Streisand can sing very, very well. Uh, she's extremely proficient technically. She's quite expressive uh, with her um, uh, with her singing. Uh, and apparently these songs have been picked because they mean things to her. Uh, so... Uh, my perspective is that show tunes are really not my kind of thing. And I, a while ago, I realized that mostly this is because of the style of music. And there are some shows, um, so depending on the style of music, that I actually have really enjoyed. So Little Chopper Horrors, for example, is the sort of thing where the, the soul music in that I actually really enjoy. Um, but this kind of music, not my cultural background, uh, not my... Uh, kind of it doesn't feel relevant to me in in that sense so uh, i'm sure it does or in fact i know it does to many people and they uh, they respond well to this music uh, for me it feels a bit overly uh, dripping in honey and theatrical um, and just a little bit over kind of blown and overdone uh, that i accept that this isn't necessarily consistent with the fact that I really like most progressive rock, which if there's any kind of music that's theatrical, it's progressive rock, but I think it's in a different way. Um, maybe I would respond differently if I knew the shows uh, that these were from. I sometimes wonder if show music works better in the context of the show. Um, Cause it, you know, it's, it's got that contextual sense to it. Um, I think, 
on the stage it makes sense for it to be this dramatic uh, on a recording I'm, I'm not so sure but if people love shows then obviously i understand why they want the recordings of these songs i think that that this really is uh, barbara streisand's element um and i think in some ways i kind of i would respect this more than some of the pop stuff that she was putting out around that time so i agree with her that she should should do this album i think this is a good thing um my favorite tracks on this uh, are uh, the opening track which is called putting it together uh which is i don't really know the context but you can kind of pick it up uh from the from the words but she's changed the words a bit and it makes it work really well for the context of this album so that's good that's the first track on the album and there's one that's part way through called adelaide's uh, adelaide's lament um which is uh it's just interesting and a little bit funny and witty and it's got a little bit more to it than just a great big romantic thing about how absolutely awesome her man is or how she'll never give up on somebody or something like that so yeah not my kind of thing i i'm not reacting as badly against it as i might against some show tune stuff because she is pretty good at this i have to admit um but yeah so it was all right what do you think i'd love to get your perspective uh, so please let me know in the comments below that's it from me for now Achoo! in other ways just for waiting around for that plain little band of gold a bison can develop a cold you can spray her wherever you figure the strep the cock i like you can give her a shot for whatever she's got, but it just won't wake if she's tired of getting...